This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Well, rumor has it that Justin Timberlake was going to use a hologram for his Prince tribute during the Super Bowl halftime show performance, but he backed out at the last minute. Now, he spoke to Sheila E., and she had tweeted that Justin Timberlake was not going to use a hologram after they had a conversation. She said, family, I spoke with Justin tonight, and he shared heartfelt words of respect for Prince and the Purple fans. There is no hologram. Yeah, you fool around and bring a Prince hologram out there, then Prince's real ghost show up throwing shade. Now, she also said he thought it was very demonic, and that's his spiritual belief. She wanted to make sure that nobody ever does a hologram of him, according to Sheila E. Now, that's a that Jehovah Witness in him. Drop one of clues bombs for the Jehovah Witnesses out there, Danny. A source close to Justin Timberlake said the hologram plan was never, ever in play, that Justin would not disrespect Prince's legacy, so there was no change in his performance. Now, here is Justin Timberlake. He was on Fallon, and here's what he had to say. He's always been the pinnacle of musicianship for me. When we decided that, like, the serendipity and synergy that we would be in Minneapolis, he's such a special thing here. Uh, Aside from what he is all over the world, I just felt like I wanted to do something for this city and something for him that would just be the ultimate homage to what I consider the GOAT of musicians. See, Justin Timberlake's Super Bowl halftime performance was very regular, especially in comparison to the last few Super Bowls we have witnessed. What it really needed was a hologram of Janet Jackson's titty, okay? That's the only appearance that would have took that uh, performance to another level was Janet Jackson. Uh, fine. All right, well, Prince's sister, Tyka Nelson, also wants people to back off people who were hating on that halftime show. She said she was pleasantly surprised by Justin Timberlake's performance and even enjoyed the Prince tribute. And she and the rest of Prince's family knew he was planning to sing I Would Die For You, but she said they weren't aware he was doing a video projection. But she said for the backlash, everyone has their own idea of what Prince would have wanted, so it's impossible uh, for Justin to have any way of knowing that. Yeah, but you can't tell people how to have their opinion. I mean, if people enjoyed the show, they enjoyed it. If they didn't enjoy it, they have the right to express that too. But I thought it was very regular, and he really, really needed Janet Jackson. I think everybody had their sets, their sight set on Janet Jackson, and when that didn't happen, it just didn't, you know. And she said in advance that she was yeah, not she wasn't performing. doing it. I thought it was cool. It started off slow, but I thought it was cool. All right, Steve Wynn, you know him as the casino tycoon, you know, the Wynn Hotels. He allegedly pressured a grandmother working in one of his casinos into having sex. He said he had never had a grandmother before and wanted to see how it feels. Now, the woman who was unnamed (laughs) told the Las Vegas Review Journal, she said, I did it willingly because I felt like I had to. I didn't really want to. I was afraid for my job. She said she was working as a waitress at the Mirage and was a single mom of eight. She had just welcomed her first grandchild when Steve Wynn, who's now 76, allegedly slept with her and sexually harassed her for around a year. How old was she? At the time, well, she's 71 yet now, and this oh, was man. in the 80s. She said in the late 80s. So She's still alive? Yeah, she's still alive. She's talking about it 71. now. 71. Oh, she's 71 now, lady. Okay, okay, got you. Got now, she you. said, you have so many new and young girls to choose from, and you you know, having sex with you makes me feel terrible. Why don't you just leave me alone? He said, Mm-mm-mm. she said he would single her out, slap her butt in public, and told her to come to his hotel room where he asked for oral sex. She said they had sex many more times. She said he didn't force me or anything, but I did go, but Mm-mm-mm. I felt so uncomfortable. I guess she felt like she would lose her job. So grandma took her teeth out and was performing oral sex on um, the man. Well, I don't know about that, but um, there was a lot of lawsuits against him. A lot of people that say that he sexually harassed workers and coerced them into sex. One woman was a manicurist who got a seven point five million dollar settlement after her allegations. Wow. So what's, I'm trying to figure out what if she said that he didn't force her. What's the what's the issue? I guess she's saying that she felt like she didn't have a choice if she wanted to keep her job. She told them she was uncomfortable. She told them she didn't want to do it, but she. And you said she was a grandma. So he did force her then. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. She felt like she would lose her job. So she didn't tell him, I'm not doing it. She did it, but it wasn't willingly, I guess, is the point. And by the way, the face of grandmas have changed nowadays. Drop on the clues bombs for Bernice Burgos. Okay. It's not, it's not the old grandma that you used to. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, 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 hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.